This is Brian Carlton for ABN Newswire. I'm at the Symposium Resources Roadshow where a number of companies are presenting to potential investors. One of the more interesting companies I think is Clean Global Energy, ASX code CGV. John Harkins is the Executive Chairman and Managing Director and joins me now. G'day John. Hi Welcome Brian, to ABN How are you? Newswire. Yeah, I'm you. very well. Now CG is an emerging <coughs> Uh, energy company, your idea is to, or your plan is to convert deep coal seams that are otherwise unaccessible or not commercially viable and produce syngas underground. Can you talk me through the process a little bit? Yeah, I, essentially uh, it, it's quite simplistic in its, uh, it, its uh, origins in that obviously the coal is uh, a hydrocarbon and the idea is that you can um, release the energy from that hydrocarbon by gasifying it. Now, that now this is not burning the coal, is this it? This is not burning it's the coal. It's producing a <coughs> chemical reaction. Really. It's producing a chemical reaction. So what we do is we, we uh, drill down into the coal seam and that, was a, that will become our injection well. And then in our case, we move about 600 metres away and drill down into the same coal seam. And the idea is that, that we're then looking to connect the two seams together. Mm -hmm. Now, in, in more traditional methodology of this, uh, uh, this applica pr uh, industrial application, uh, one has to rely on the permeability of the coal and the fissures in the coal. And you drive uh, air, uh, compressed air and or oxygen into your injection well, and then you close your eyes, cross your fingers, and hope that it finds the base of your production well. In our application, we have a unique uh, uh, proven way of connecting the two wells with a horizontal uh, drilling process called CRIP. And CRIP is a controlled retractable injection point. So essentially, we are able to uh, uh, ensure that we have direct connection between the bottom of the two wells. So once the process has happened underground, coming out the pipe at the other end, if you like, is syngas. Exactly. Uh, what, what you do is you do actually in the very initial stages, you ignite the coal. Now, people say coal ignition under the ground. But the moment that the coal is ignited, you immediately drive down your uh, oxidant, which is either air and or oxygen. Okay. Now, when you do that under pressure, it's a bit like, the best way to describe it to you is like a blacksmith's forge. Right, okay. Now the syngas, which is the, 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 the product we're talking about here really, isn't it? Well, the, the commercial applications for that are interesting. It can be burned in gas fire power stations. Absolutely. It can be converted back to a liquid, which is then uh, processed in, or refined into diesel fuel, jet air fuel. What, which are you going to be focusing on? Both? All of them? No, we, uh, our, our short term business plan is very clear and very simple. Uh, we're all about energizing the coal at the early, uh, in the, and, and getting the syngas to the surface, obviously, but then to take that syngas and put it into the most economically uh, accessible outcome, and that is. Uh, gas, uh, gas for power stations, and we are, we're certainly uh, not discounting the p potential further on, further down the track, to look at gas to liquids, but the capital expenditure for a gas to liquids plant to get the volumes required to mm -hmm. make it economically viable are huge, and um, I think that's still a, uh, a vision that people have and probably should have. Our view, our vision for our company is to energize the gas, get the gas, uh, energize the coal, I'm sorry, get the gas to the surface, and then to monetize that gas as quickly as possible. This, we keep hearing about clean coal. This is the clean coal of the future, isn't it, in many respects? I think it's, I think it's the cleaner energy use of Sorry, well, to, to, use, to use the coal to produce a, 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 an energy... It's a, clean, it's, it's a much, much cleaner way of retrieving the energy from the coal. I think everyone forgets that it's not just the uh, emissions related to the activity itself in terms of the production of the gas. It's all about carbon footprint. So the carbon footprint for an open-cut mine or a, an underground mine is not just about the coal when it's sure. used. Yeah. It's about all the carbon footprint that has to be brought together to make that happen. And the 
the real trick with UCG, if, it, 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 I don't mean trick in that sense, the real uniqueness of UCG is that the carbon footprint is greatly reduced even before you combust the gas. I understand you've been talking to China. I don't know how much you can say at this stage. What's the prospect of, uh, of clean global energy doing some kind of deal in China at the moment? Uh, we, we, we've been doing more than talking to China. We have, uh, I've just come back recently from signing a joint venture agreement with, uh, an, uh, it's a four party agreement. Uh, one of the parties has extensive coal resources and uh, the, uh, the joint venture uh, clearly sets out that we will uh, provide the, the expertise, the know-how and the technology application to uh, energize the coal that they have. We have a uh, take offtake agreement in principle with a, uh, an energy company to take the gas and their plan is to actually take the gas and put it into a methanol plant oh, okay. uh, rather than a power plant uh, up front. You've been talking to investors today. Yes. What are the benefits of people jumping aboard clean global energy? Well, um, I think people would perhaps look back at my track record on uh, doing something similar in the past, and I don't want to go into the detail of that. That's up to them. But I think there is... But you have an enviable track record in this area. I, I'd like to in think fact, so. In fact, a pioneer in the industry. <laughs> I heard you described today as a pioneer of this industry. I'd like to think so. I admire the person that said that. But uh, I think the key here is that the, the world has changed. And from those early days uh, of thinking uh, that uh, UCG was, uh, was exciting, if I thought it was exciting five years ago, I can't tell you how exciting I think it is today because it is absolutely uh, a great opportunity for not only Australia, uh, in, you know, and we, we've got competitors out there and that's fine. We, hope, we wish them every success. The key to this is UCG is uh, a, a coal processing application that has absolutely found its moment and we're going to drive the company forward on that basis. H history generally tells us that, uh, that these kind of major changes in the way we, uh, we, 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 or we base our economy, they come from the market, they don't usually come from government. I, I, I think you're right, I, I think uh, there are innovators, there are visionaries, there are people who really understand what's required. They, they're entrepreneurs, they go out to the market and say, this is what we think we can do. This is what we think we'll get from it. And this is what we think you'll get from it if you come on the journey with us. And we are uh, very excited about taking uh, our uh, current investors on our journey with us because we think we are in the right space at the right time, doing the right thing. With a, w and being part of a very strong part of the solution as opposed to being part of the problem. John Harkins, Executive Chairman, Managing Director, Clean Global Energy. Thanks so much for joining us it's on ABN. Real pleasure. Thank you.